Okay, the, so next topic is differentiation of neurons. Differentiation of neurons you must be clear about the concept of neural crust. Okay, so neural crust in the actually sometimes it is called as the fourth germ layer. The reason even though it is derived from the ectoderm, okay, ectoderm is in the manner derived chain other because of its importance in animal evolution, it's termed as fourth germ layer. Importance of another reason in neural crustal in them, course derivatives and down under. Okay, our derivatives in them, for example, derivatives are done. Okay, so the derivatives of neural crust include PNS, endocrine and paraendocrine derivatives, pigment cells, facial cartilage and bones, connective tissues. Okay, so e derivatives in them. Generally, neural crustal in them, the aralum cell types evolve in them, which includes neurons, Schwann cells, and other glial cells, adrenal medulla, epidermal pigment cells, etc. Okay, so because of its um, because of its role to emerge enormous number of cell types, it have an important role in animal evolution, and thus it is also termed as fourth germ layer. Even though it is derived from ectoderm. Okay, normally germ layers either can ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. Ectoderm is a neural crust to derive in the endernalum. And the Ipa normal important feature all other under. They can be sometimes termed as fourth germ layer. Neural crust in the Varayana, it is a transient structure. Adhoda, the Indira Prateka, the adults in the gaze, they do not have a neural crust. Adhoda, the ne, late stage lala vertebrate embryos in him, neural crust illa. Okay. Next point is neural crust cells. Okay, neural crust cells they undergo a specific transition. That is the epithelial to mesenchymal transition occurring from dorsal neural tube. Dorsal neural tube and then all the other conduct and diagram. Okay, so that is the dorsal neural tube. They have a transition occurring under that is. Epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Adana shesham, these cells will migrate. Ediloda migrate along the anterior posterior axis. In a migrate jayadana shesham and the samhoikana, they will generate a number of differentiated cell types. E. Paranjakana cell types on a number of discuss the other. Okay, so this figure shows the neural crust cell migration. Alright, so this first figure, this figure, no, we can see different parts. Okay, this extreme end of the blue colored part will be the non-neural ectoderm. Simply, that is the ectodermal portion or epidermis portion. Okay, this is the non-neural ectoderm. And this is the non-neural ectoderm. Okay, 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 then, this is the region, this is the region, this is the groove, this is the region, this is the neural plate, this is the neural plate, this is the neural plate, and this is the neural plate, this will be the notochord. Okay, so notochord is the most important epidermis region, this is the neural plate, this is the neural plate, this is the neural plate, this is the neural plate border, this is the neural plate border, this is the neural crystal, then this is the neural ectoderm. Pinet itu sampai kita nienda, pada neural plate ini folding yang narakam, neural plate ini folding yang narakam, okay, so that will be the neural fold, and this is, nama la neural plate border ayerno, and this will be the pre-migratory neural crust, alright, after that itu sampai kita nienda, ini dua area yang orang join je, folding je, ini beran dua orang orang join je, ada structure ane orang kahani ceri kena, and ini nama la upper portion lor de, there will be the epidermis. इधर इधर रहनो, this was the pre-migratory neural crust. इप्पे इन्हीं इंदा संभव क्या बोलना था? ये बड़ा इन neural crust cells इन्दे delamination नारको। Okay, this is the neural tube, and ये पारणेरी के ना neural crust cells इन्दे delamination नारको। As a result, नमक नेंग का कारण साधिक हैं। Neural crust ये बड़ा form ये दिखेना नारको। ये वेरे they will migrate, they are migratory and they will migrate to specific locations and will form different cell types. So इधर आना neural crust cell migration day or you figure okay this is an important figure and you must include in your explanation all right this neural crust can be classified into four main anatomical regions okay they are cranial neural crust cranial neural crust then vagal neural crust trunk neural crust and sacral neural crust okay cranial neural crust in the cells will migrate and form 
These types of cells which include chondrocyte, osteocyte, cranial sensory, gang sensory ganglia, melanocyte and ciliary ganglia. Then, vagal neurocrystal in them, ethereum cell types are derive you. Trunk neurocrystal in them, these are the cells that will derive. They are Schwann cells and melanocytes, etc. Sacral neurocrystal in them, enteric ganglium, sympathetic ganglium, mana. Derive either derive chain other. Okay. Pin you question numbers that is somites greater than twenty eight, somites eight to twenty eight, somites one to seven. But in some cases the classification le vagal and sacral neurocrustin number or classification and glory category in under lem and cardiac neural crustine another category atom parainanda. All right. In a somites in a number number content and that means either key location along either key and uh, somites are your neural trust in the formation when it help you and then for example I'm gonna look at you I'm gonna under the vagal neural trust in a one to seven on a somites in number order thing in the other these are the somites even though on the model area where all the somite cells they are responsible for formation of vagal neural crust okay trunk neural crust running is s7 along with somites number somite in the seventh somite cells in the manner trunk neural crust in the formation involved with the other sacral crust in the number of the somites more than 28 another the 28th number kind of all of the other somites I reckon responsible for the formation of sacral crust there is another important point of neural crust cell this is the doc an article which we had derived from PubMed. Okay, so now we are going to neural crust cells in the formation of endotum, that is induction of endotum. Induction in there, just quickly revise what is induction. Induction is the ability of a cell to produce a substance that influences the differentiation of another. Okay, but inducer is an agent, that is a responder. Inducer is the cell which produces a substance. Responder on the cell which receives the signal from the inducer and gets differentiated. All right. Any non-neural ectoderm, non-neural ectoderm, neural plate, and the underlying mesoderm. All the all these three things are needed for the induction and formation of neural crust cells. All right. That's what we are doing. Any once you form the gynal in the same way, the neural crust cell migrate and start to as a wave of cells they will migrate. And what again migrate they will move away from the epithelium, neuro epithelial till in where a distant atlas regions like a move aim, our genetic they will give rise to number of tissues. And the Mulkan Darnus Pala cell types and the other name mean genital. All right. In this figure, it is the model for neural crust lineage segregation and the heterogeneity of neural crust cell. We are talking about neural crust cells. They will form a session or migrate into a distant region. Then they will form different cell types. All right. So, here we are talking about neural crust progenitors. Here we are talking about ball wall. Here we are talking about letters. C indicates for cartilage precursor. M indicated is another melanocyte precursor. G is glia cells precursor, and N is the precursor cells of neurons. Okay. इवर देन्दम संभव है क्या ना दा? They will multiply and form different cell types. अदाना पाला cell types से form ये ना दा निवर डे major outcome. Okay. So ना मलको एंड अदा neuron differentiation आना neurons इन्दे द. So neurons से differentiation इवर ना वर इन्दा दा Obviously, it comes from neuron precursor cell. Neuron precursor cell cell in them neurons are forming and mingle certain paracrine factors need to be acted upon it. Okay, that's why I can't say that. Neurotin, GDNF, and NTs. If it's NT in the bar, it's neurotropin. All right. And GDNF in the bar, it is glial cell line derived neurotropic factor. Okay. So, it's the paracrine factors on the angle. Neuron precursor cells in them neurons form in. Okay. In the E para in the neuron precursor cells is to be derived from this type of precursor cell. E precursor cell is the progenitor cell. This is the GNN. GNN is the glial cells in the precursor. And neurons in them. Okay. And if it is GNN, GNN is the combination of them. GM and them separate. 
ന്യൂറോട്രോപ്പിൻസ് വേണം എങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ ഈ ഒരു സെപ്പറേഷൻ നടക്കുകയുള്ളൂ ഇനി ജി എൻ വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് എവിടെ നോക്കിയാണ് ഈ രണ്ട് സെലക്ട് ടൈപ്സിൽ നിന്നും ഓൾ റൈറ്റ് ഈ രണ്ട് സെലക്ട് ടൈപ്സ് ഏതൊക്കെയാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ജസ്റ്റ് ഒന്ന് നോക്കിയാൽ അറിയാം ഇവിടെ ജി എം എൻ ഗ്ലിയാൽ ആൻഡ് എം ഇസ് എ മെലാനോസൈഡ് എൻ ഇസ് എ ന്യൂറോൺ പ്രിക്കേഴ്സർ ഇവിടെ അതിന് എമ്മിന് പകരം സി ആയിരുന്നു സി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കാട്ടിലേഷ് പ്രിക്കേഴ്സർ ആണ് ഓക്കെ ഇനി ഈ രണ്ടും ഡിറൈവ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ന്യൂറോൾ ക്രസ് പ്രോജനേറ്റർ ഇതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് എല്ലാ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് സെൽ ടൈപ്സ് ആവാനുള്ള പ്രിക്കേഴ്സേഴ്സും ഉണ്ട് സോ ഫ്രോം ഇതിൽ നിന്നും ഡിറൈവ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് സി ജി എൻ ഓർ ജി എൻ എം ദെൻ ഇവിടെ നിന്നുമാണ് ജി എൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്ന ആ ഒരു സ്പെസിഫൈഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സ്ട്രക്ചർ വരുന്നത് ഇവിടെ ന്യൂറോട്രോപ്പിൻ സെലക്ട് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഗ്ലിയാൽ സെൽസും ന്യൂറോൺ സെൽസും സെപ്പറേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് വരുന്നു അപ്പോൺ ആക്ടിങ് ഓഫ് സ്പെസിഫിക് പ്രിക്കേഴ്സർ സോറി സ്പെസിഫിക് പാരക്രൈൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് അപ്പോൺ ദീസ് പ്രിക്കേഴ്സർ സെൽസ് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ട റിക്വയർഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള സെൽസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സെൽ ടൈപ്പ് ഫോം ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ സോ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ക്ലിയർ ഇത്രയുള്ള ന്യൂറോൺസിൻ്റെ കേസിൽ ന്യൂറൽ ക്രസ്റ്റ് പ്രോജനൈറ്ററിൽ നിന്നും ഡ്യൂ ടു ദ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പാരക്രൈൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ന്യൂറോൺ പ്രിക്കേഴ്സർ സെൽസ് വരുന്നു ന്യൂറോൺ പ്രിക്കേഴ്സർ സെൽസിൽ നിന്നും ന്യൂറോൺസ് ഫോം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഓക്കെ ദാറ്